Hi everyone, Lee here from Martin Lutzi Property Group with my weekly real estate market update. This is my last market update for the year 2022. Uh, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you first and foremost for tuning in. And I hope the information that I provide in these weekly updates has been useful. I want to also take this opportunity to thank you and also wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year as well. You'll be hearing from me probably in the first week or two of the new year. So it's been an interesting property market this year in 2022. We've seen a very turbulent start to the year with those booming property prices peaking around April and then the cash rate increases, rapid cash cash rate increases from May all the way up until just uh, last couple of weeks in December. We've seen a rise from 0.1% to 3.1%, which has certainly um, shifted the market quite dramatically. We've seen prices across Australia drop by about 7%. And that's consistent here on the Sunshine Coast as well. What I've done this week is written about my predictions or my thoughts on what's going to happen in 2023 for our property markets, because a lot of people are asking me that question. And there's a couple of scenarios that could play out. If you're interested in having a read of that, check out the link below. Um, I've got an article that I've just written there. So check that out. Have a read of that. Um, what's interesting that this spring, so usually in spring, um, we see a real big spike in the number of new properties listed for sale. Um, so that's the three months leading up to the end of November. This spring, we've seen the actual opposite happen. We've seen a reduced number of properties being listed in spring compared to the winter months. So to give you an idea, uh, for the three months up to the end of August, there are about 121,000 properties listed for sale. In the spring months, up until the end of November, only 118,000 properties were listed for sale. So still a lot of properties for sale, but certainly a lot less. And um, usually the spring market seems about a 21% increase, at least over the last decade it has anyway. So really interesting to see that happening right now. And that's probably to do with the inflation and the cash rate, interest rate rises and the property prices declining a bit. So a lot of people are holding off. But what I think this might mean is that in the new year, we may see a late spring or um, yeah, we may see a lot of properties come to the market early in the new year and all the way through to the middle of the year. So that could be interesting, could mean for sellers, you will have a lot more competition for buyers, a lot more uh, choice in properties to choose from. So that's what I think will happen for the first part of the year. We know there's going to be more cash rate rises next year. Um, we, we expect that'll happen all the way through until maybe mid-year when we see the inflation start to calm a bit. Now, if that happens, then it's likely that the uh, Governor Low from the RBA will pause interest rate rises um, and just to make sure that things are calming down. But if the opposite happens and he can't get inflation in control and people keep spending, we will probably will see the cash rate go above 4% potentially. And that could lead to a fairly significant drop in prices as well. So could go either way, guys, for next year. Hey, but it's all looking good here. We've got a lot of buyers looking around, a lot of uh, transactions happening at the moment. And you will see that over the uh, the Christmas month. So December, January, we'll see a lot of activities and a lot of properties going under contract as well, as there are a lot of buyers that have recently sold looking to make their new purchases. So guys, that's it from me for this year. I hope you have a great Christmas. Happy New Year. And we'll talk soon.